back to the daily grind and shout out to the full time patrons. Make sure to hit subscribe if you're new and hit thumbs up if you're not a baby back bagel biting bitch boy cause you know what time it is. It's full time. MMA. And it's your boy Taco Bell Wani, aka MMA Academics. And right now we've got MMA and Muay Thai coach extraordinaire Dwayne Bang Ludwig, who believes his student Curtis Blades has the power to stop Alistair Overeem. Uh, Curtis Blades and Alistair Overeem are going to be fighting at UFC 225, and Curtis Blades is very slept on. When we were coming up with our top five prospects list, you know, be, and we were saying we should have did a top ten, Curtis Blades is a guy that you have to look at as a bright prospect for the UFC as far as his skills in the heavyweight division are concerned. Man, this guy is very talented, Curtis Blades. He's a heavyweight, very young. He's um, uh, already fought, I believe, like six or seven times in the UFC. Only one loss, I believe, to Francis Ngannou. That was a doctor stoppage. But other than that, he's been, you know, essentially running through guys with this very high level. I believe he's got like Division One wrestling or some stuff like that. Curtis Blades is a very, um, he's got a lot of potential as a heavyweight, very talented fighter, a very high level wrestler. So with that being said, him being a high level wrestler, you know, having that wrestling base is always good as a fighter. You're going to win a lot of fights if you're a high level wrestler. But the thing is, the fans aren't always the most excited as in Curtis Blades last performance, he fought Mark Hunt and after maybe eating a couple of shots, you know, he resorted to the wrestling, took Mark Hunt down and proceeded to dominate the fight from there. And whenever that happens, you know, the fans might get to booing, but on top of that, um, Curtis Blades was at Mark Hunt's home, you know, Mark Hunt had the home crowd, now Curtis, and that's in the post-fight press conference, what led Curtis Blades to say, you know, I want this feeling, I want my, the crowd to be rooting for me, you know, and booing my opponent, I want to feel like that, Curtis Blades is a really, really cool guy, I'm talking about like as a person, you know, you always talk about how when you like a fighter, it's not just their fighting style, but it's also the personality, now if you don't like Curtis Blades fighting style because you don't like wrestling, or just because he beat up one of your favorite fighters, I get it, but when you talk about Curtis Blades as a person, I really do like this guy, I've seen some of his interviews, I like the fact that he's got the fuck, you know, if you see in the picture above me, he's got the haircut now, before he was looking a little barely, I know all about that, but my nigga hit the barber up, and now he's looking all sharp, 26 years year old young Thundercat coming up in the heavyweight division and Dwayne Ludwig said not only is he a very high level wrestler, I believe he has the power to put away Alistair Overeem in their upcoming fight. And I mean, that's kind of a given, right? Um, I, I would think every heavyweight has the power. I mean, there's probably some fucking flyweights that could put away Overeem specifically. No, I'm just kidding. Maybe not flyweights. I'm just saying Overeem, it's not like Overeem's known for having the strongest chin in the game. So when you say, yeah, Curtis Blades has the power to stop Overeem. Oh yeah, we know, buddy. <laughs> we know. He definitely does. But the thing is, will, Over will, will that make Curtis Blades want to strike with Overeem? You know what I'm saying? I think Curtis Blades can strike with Overeem just because it's not like Overeem is in his prime, you know, striking prime, just knocking shit out, Uberim, just fucking everything up. Overeem's more toward the end of his game, and Alice, or, I mean, and Curtis Blades is more in the very beginning of his, but he's already very skilled to be only like 26 years old and as a heavyweight. I mean, what's the last wrestler you really saw with uh, the, the last heavyweight that with these wrestling credentials, you know, that's been this young? as Curtis Blades. He's going to be around for a while. I mean, the one person we do know about is Alexander Volkov, who just beat Fabricio Verdun. But between Curtis Blades and Alexander Volkov, that's two young, very talented heavyweights we got in the UFC. So I'm sure we'll be seeing them around. Um, I don't know when who's going to be fighting for the title first out of these young guns. We still got Fabricio and D, uh, you know, up there. He just lost to Volkov, but we still got DC fighting Steve Bay. We still got Steve Bay at the top. There's a lot of stuff, but hey, at, at least we've got some young up and coming killers in the heavyweight division, you know. And I think that's good for the heavyweight division because you know with the heavyweight division, you're always talking about anybody can win. You know, that's why Steve Bay just broke the record at three title defenses in the heavyweight division. There hasn't been one heavyweight that was just so skilled no one could really fuck with him but maybe you know with these Volkovs and these Curtis Blades I could see these guys having the potential to win a lot of fights up there but the thing is it is heavyweight and that's always been the caveat one don't blink one punch can put any of these guys out you can be the heavyweight champion three fights in a row and get clipped one time by Ngannou and you can lose your belt you can be Alexander Volk, I mean, there's so much stuff that can happen, but with that being said, Dwayne Bain Ludwig said he believes Curtis Blades has the power to stop Alistair Overeem, and he also said, now, 
Alex Rowe, um, Curtis Blades isn't like my student. You know, he's not taking all the credit. Like he's actually trains under somebody else most of the time, but you know, it's not gonna hurt training with me some of the times. And he just, you know, was going on to say about how fast Curtis Blades picked things up. You know, he's just learning a lot. And so I think we've got a lot to be excited for in the young up and coming Curtis Blades. A lot of people might not be fans of his yet. They might have only seen his fight versus Mark Hunt and thought it wasn't the most exciting. But Curtis Blades is a fucking cool dude, and he's also a very talented fighter. Didn't he slam Mark Hunt, or did he not even... I think he had a couple of slams on Mark Hunt in that fight as well. I'm interested to see what happens at UFC 225 between these guys. Gonna be a dope heavyweight fight. UFC 225 has Whitaker versus Romero, too. There's talks of Demetrius Johnson versus Cejudo, too, but those are still on the way low-key. I mean, those were rumors and now we've seen DJ TJ is canceled so it might be more true we'll see what happens UFC 225 is going to be dope though this isn't even the only heavyweight fight on UFC 225 there's another dope heavyweight fight on the card I believe so um, with that being said it is what it is let the full-time family know what you think in the comments and as always thanks for watching this video if you enjoyed this video make sure you hit the subscribe button and also hit the notification bell right next to it so you're notified every time I upload a video I'm out da -da 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 -da. It's the motherfucking D-O-Double-G!